Runway allows you to turn text to video, image to video, and video to video that have resulted in some of the most amazing AI generated videos I've ever seen. So if you want your videos to stand out online or to use it in a movie, I'll go through what I've learned about Runway to generate the best AI videos, how to use the motion controls, expand image, and the other crazy effects, and I'll deep dive into my new favorite feature, the motion brush. So let's dive into each feature one by one. So by the end of this video, you will be able to use Runway like a champ. Number one, make an account. We're now on runwayml.com and here you can see advanced creativity with artificial intelligence. Runway is an applied AI research company shaping the next era of art, entertainment and human creativity. The way you make a free account is just to click this button. Now just create an account. You can use Google and Apple. And now we're on the inside. If you're wondering how much can you generate for free, I'll go over that when we talk about pricing later because you've signed up. Let's go to number two text to video. As you can see on their homepage, they have so many popular AI magic tools. And I'm going to try to cover every single one in this video. But to begin, let's click on text slash image to video. I'm gonna make a prompt here with a kangaroo wearing oversized sunglasses, riding a skateboard down the mountain. There are some settings here as well that I'll show you, but for now, let's click on free preview. The reason you wanna do this is because you get four generations that you then can select between and then render out, which saves you credits. <laughs> and there you go. I really like this one as the input. So I'm gonna click on use this as the input and let's generate. Also, I wanna test if I just don't do an input, just the text, I'm gonna generate that as well. I'm gonna try two other prompts as well, like this penguins having a picnic on the moon and the octopus juggling kitchen utensils. We got the first generation back here. Whoa, slow motion on this one. And the kangaroo is kind of warping a little bit but pretty good so far. Just remember that this was with an image. Here is the first one with purely text generation. Yeah, I don't know. Here is the penguins on the moon having a picnic. I mean, this wasn't pretty good. Like they just stole a pizza box. And here is the octopus generation. Apparently the chefs are making the octopus and it didn't really do the prompt right, but hey, that's on me. And the main issue is that it's not so customizable. With only text, you don't really have so much customization. So let's go to... If you're afraid AI is taking your job or maybe you're just stuck in a dead end job right now, well, I have some good news for you. There are still high paying in demand jobs that you don't need any fancy degree or experience to get a job. That's where Careerist comes in. They've helped over 11,000 students, including 4,000 successful graduates with graduates over with graduates earning an average of $77,000 a year. Their fast-paced manual QA course is your perfect entry point, completed in just six months with expert coaching from industry veterans at top tech companies. Gain valuable real-world project experience to impress employers and join a supportive alumni network for ongoing guidance. But what truly sets Careerist apart? Happy students? Check. Intuitive learning platform? Check. Active, supportive community? Check. This course is an investment in your future opening doors to higher earning potential and exciting career opportunities. Convenient payment plans make it accessible and their competitive course cost ensures you get the best value. So don't let fear or lack of experience hold you back any longer. It's time to take action by clicking the link in the description down below 
for 10% off of Careerist Manual QA course so you can start your journey to a thriving remote career. Thanks to Careerist for sponsoring this section of the video. So let's go to number three, image to video. So as you can see, we're now on the image tab and we can drag and drop an image in here. I'm gonna upload this photo of this weird man with an iPad and now let's talk about some of these filters. As you can see, the first button gives you the seed, which you can customize to keep the same style if you wanna do it again. Interpolate smooths out your frames. Upscale, you can turn on automatically. You can also upscale after the fact and remove watermark. Then when we go to the second tab, you can see general motion. You can put it all the way to 10 or one and it will give you more motion. And talking about motion, we also have camera motion that you can customize to your heart's content. My absolute favorite is zoom in and we're gonna play around with them a bit. The last one is motion brush that I will have an entire chapter in this video about. For now, let's have the general motion at 10 and click generate. Here is the result. Yeah, it's definitely warping in space. I kind of like that he's trying to look at the iPad, like, hey, what's going on here? Um, let's try to click on the image plus description to see if we can actually manipulate it a bit. Let's try a man showing an iPad to the camera and generate again. Here is the second version. Okay, that is, I don't know, better or worse, but I can definitely use this in a video where if only the screen changes, actually I like how the lighting changes around the face. So. This is really good. I'm gonna generate an image with Dolly. I'll also copy this prompt. Okay, that was not what I was looking for, but hey, let's download, upload it, paste the prompt, and this time we're gonna click on camera motion. I'm gonna try to make a parallax effect by using the pan to the right and the horizontal to the left. Let's save it and generate. Here is the result. And it actually managed to do kind of a parallax effect, which is really impressive. You do see that it kind of warps more, but let's test something else. Let's do this scenic city, pull it in here, prompted drone flying over beautiful seaside city. And this time I want to see if I can make the drone go up and then tilt downwards a little bit while it zooming in. Let's save. Here is the result. And it actually is able to generate things behind the buildings here, which looks so cool. I actually had no idea it was able to do this. The new camera motions are actually holding up pretty well. I really want to try one more. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Let's upload. Prompted drone flying over New York. And this time, Let's change the motion control to tilt even more down, keep the vertical up and zoom in. I'm also gonna try one that just zooms in and tilts up a little bit. Here's the first generation that should tilt down. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's incredible. Let's watch that one more time. Jesus Christ. It's almost like that inception where the world is bending. Here is the second variation that should just fly through the city and tilting a little up and there we have it, Jesus Christ. This is such a cool shot. And the craziest part is that we can actually extend this. So if I just click on the extend four seconds, instead of four seconds, it's now eight. So let's take a look at the extended version. So we still had this and now this is completely new from the extended version. To me, this is some of the best video generation that you can get from AI currently. And I mean, I'm very pleased with the result. Imagine using this as some sort of establishing shot. I think you will see it a lot coming in YouTube videos and even Netflix. But besides text to video and video to video, sometimes you maybe took a video from your phone and you wanna turn it into AI. Well, that's why they have number four, video to video. You can find it by just going down to video to video in the bottom left. And here you can drop your video. I'm gonna test on one of these TikTok dances just like this and see what happens. Drag it in there. And it says that only the first 15 seconds of the video will be processed. Now that it's uploaded, you can see we have all these different options to the right. You can style reference from image so we can maybe put this style on top of her. We have presets where they have all these claymation, cloudscape, even abstract and gradient, and you can even prompt it yourself. 
I've found good success with the image and presets, but let's just test it out. Let's try a woman dressed in a steampunk outfit dancing at Burning Man. We can select the style strength and there is also advanced settings that we'll look at later. And a big mistake here is to generate the video because it takes quite long. So just preview the styles first. Here you can see the different generations. <laughs> I think we need to do some better prompting. Preview styles again. I mean, it's not really getting that much better. Okay, let's just test this one. Now, instead of using a text prompt, I'm gonna use the presets. I saw this pet digital that I think looks really cool. And let's preview that as well. This is how it looks like. Yeah, it's like forcing a dog in there. Let's try sci-fi preview. <laughs> <laughs> she turned into a building. Let's try the claymation one. This time it turned into a kid in front of her. Let's put the style strength to max. What have we done? Should we test this one? Write yes in the comments down below. Okay, if you want it, let's generate. Last one, we're gonna style reference from an image. Actually, let's try this gamer girl to see if we can get any of these crazy colors. I'm gonna put the style strength down and they also have advanced settings. As you can see, the style weight lead more to emphasis on the style rather than the input video. The structural consistency tells us that higher values make the output more structurally different from the input video. Frame consistency basically means that it tries to keep the frames closely together. They also have upscale, remove watermark, effect foreground only. So this is kind of cool if you have a character in front Affect background only, this one as well, maybe masking out a character and compare wipe that will wipe from the original output to the generate results, kind of like a before and after. Now I'm gonna just keep everything on the basic and preview style. Damn, she turned gamer girl real quick. Alrighty then, let's test it out. Here's the first iteration of her at Burning Man. And uh, yeah, I don't like it. It looks very kind of, what would you call this? Kind of blurry or <laughs> especially the beginning ain't that good. So let's check out the other results. Now I do have to say that they're using gen one video while the text to image and image to image uses the gen two model. Let's see the second example that had the claymation style at 100. So it's actually keeping it pretty consistent but it gets really blurry. The character does look kind of cool though. So it's doing the dance and everything like that. Hey, I mean, it's not horrible and I just can't wait for it to be a little bit better. Like, I mean, they definitely have technology now to make this not as blurry. So, hey, I'll actually give this a thumbs up. I wouldn't necessarily use it in a video. There are a lot of good examples out there of people using this. So I may just have to learn how to use it better. Here we have the last video to video that was the style reference of the gamer girl. You can definitely see the neon has been <laughs> well, it's a lot of neon here and it also looks kind of good. The face doesn't look half bad here. And if you ask me if it matched the style well, it definitely did. So now you understand video to video and you might find a use case for it. But what I love to use the most inside of Runway is actually number five, motion brush. So you may have understood, I like to start with an image or text to begin. Let's use this picture and then click motion brush. As you can see, we have five brushes to choose from and we can choose what happens to that selection. So the first selection, let's just select her in the foreground here, just make it around her. And now we can choose what happens to her. So we can put her to the right. We can do the vertical axis, which is up or down. You can do proximity, which means further away or closer or ambient, which kind of just screws them around a little bit. For this scene, I think the best would be to go to the right and go further away from the camera. And then we want to apply some motion to the waves as well. So I'll make a bigger brush here and I want to have this wave kind of crash over the beach. So let's put them to the right and let's add some ambient noise. Let's save and we'll add a prompt to the image as well and click on generate. Here is the result. And as you can see, we actually can control the image pretty well. Look at how beautiful the waves are actually crashing down. And the girl as well seems to be reacting to the water going to the right 
kinda warping a little bit of course, but still my favorite way of using runway. Take these Pixar looking birds, click on motion brush, and let's try to just animate their heads. The first one, we're gonna look to the left. The second one, we're gonna look up. The third one, we're gonna look down. And the fourth one, look to the right. Let's see what happens. I'm actually very excited to test this. So let's generate. Here is the result. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have put the slider so high up. <laughs> this is crazy. He's kind of like walking away like somebody, you know, you don't want to tell somebody took a stinky silent killer. Hey, bro, I'm just going to back away from this space. So motion control is awesome, but they actually have more, which is number six. AI magic tools. As you can see, we've literally just been through the first ones here. They also have image to image, text to speech. They have train your own generation, infinite image, expand image, frame interpolation, erase and replace, backdrop remix, image variation, even 3D capture and 3D texture. And the rest of the ones are on the screen now that can help you a lot for your specific use case. And you might be wondering, and you might be wondering for all of this, how much does it actually cost? So for the free plan, you actually get 125 credits and each second of video generation uses five credits. So if you want the four second videos that we just created, that's 25 credits. So for free, you can get five of the videos that I just generated. This tops up monthly, but as you can imagine, pretty limited. You can see the prices here for the monthly and this is the price for the yearly. And what really changes from the free one to the standard is that you get 625 credits per month. You can upscale resolution and remove watermarks, longer text to video and video to video, and some other great perks. The next level up is basically the same, just more credits and higher quality exports and the same with unlimited. So is it worth it? Well, if you can only get a couple of really high quality clips at the standard package. Well, I'm on the $12 package where I just want a few shots to make my videos better. I'm not trying to make an AI movie, but I'm just trying to increase my video quality. So for me to get some of these incredible shots, it's definitely worth it. So check it out in the link in the description. I'm not affiliated with or sponsored by Runway ML. I just think it's one of the best video generation softwares. And if you want to see me ranking Runway versus Peak, and stable video diffusion. There's a video on the screen right now, so just tap that and I'll see you in the next one.